All right, hello YouTube, this is Ryan again, and I'm just picking up where I left off from the kind of bass notes and harmony video. And what I want to do is add some modulation to ZOA. Uh, one of the things that I've already gotten emails about even before the app is released is, wouldn't it be nice to be able to maybe modulate the velocity or some of these other parameters? And there's no built-in way to do that, but I'm gonna show you how you can use another MIDI app uh, which is from the Rosetta Suite by really great developer, um, I think Bram Boss. If I'm saying that wrong, I'm sorry. Uh, but let's go ahead and add that. And his apps are not MIDI processors. I mean, they are MIDI processors, but they show up in the audio unit extension category. And I'm going to use his LFO. So let's pull this up. I'm going to deactivate uh, two of those here, and okay, let's not actually have that yet. I'm going to change the shape to this uh, sample and hold, and I'm going to be able to set the range here. So I want to actually go up to full velocity, and you know I want it to get pretty quiet too. So let's set that down to like five. So if I hit play. I can see this is running. Let's maybe increase the rate. So I want to send this random velocity to Zoa somehow. So let's stop that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Zoa and I'm going to go into these um, MIDI controls. So it's these kind of faders on the right here. I'm going to set Rosetta LFO as the source, and then I'm going to go back. And I think Playhead 4 has the melody. So let's just scroll down and we can see all the parameters here. Let's, um, let's use this. So we'll notice that, um, let's see, the Rosetta LFO is running on channel 1, and it's sending on CC 13. So let's get back in there. Go to playhead four and we're gonna go channel one and put that up to cc 13. all right let's see what that does so if we open up zoe you'll notice that the velocity number for playhead four is actually updating in real time Sounds great. And we can actually use these LFOs to modulate any of the parameters in ZOA. So let's just take a look at, at what we have. You have your grid settings. You have the actual game of life settings. You have all the playhead settings as well. So there's a lot of things to play with. And um, hopefully this inspires you to try some things out with ZOA, have some fun, and make some music. So thanks for watching and have a good rest of your day.